Torian Mullman back here with TYP and Mullman Wellness Training. Uh, Going to go over some more extensive rollout techniques that you can do, particularly for, say, the cranium and just below that cranium right into the neck attachments, okay? We got to keep in mind that when we're running, we're moving, we're jumping, we're doing stuff and being very active, a lot of that brunt force or a lot of that impact literally channels up a kinetic chain that finishes into our head, okay? We deal from day to day with stress and, you know, issues that happen in our lives, those undoubtedly can kind of build up and literally steal energy or cause us a lot of stress and a lot of tightness in particularly areas into that neck region and just below the neck. So we're going to look at using a tool such as the TheraWheel, okay, and getting into some of those release techniques. Now, what I would want to do is place this just below where the base of the skull kind of starts to meet the neck that particular position, I'm going to use tension by stimulating, as we like to say, horizontally, focusing on making a mental note where it's kind of crappy or it feels uncomfortable, and at that point now I can change how I'm stimulating, okay? There's going to be some issues in there, there's going to be some tightness uncomfortable feelings, this is all normal, again, you've built a lot of undue pressure, okay, especially, again, if you've been very active and your posture is pretty poor and you typically tend to have that forward flex posture, so an exercise such as this is really good for reducing that tension and stress into the head and into the neck, it's going to give you a lot more focus, okay, it's going to give you a lot more energy and coordination and concentration when you are exercising. Check out the wheel at some point, you can definitely get into back and head releases.